Hello and welcome. So this is going to be a short practice. It's called the Yes Practice. And we practice this because most of the time when we feel something we don't like, when we hear something we don't like, when we feel something we don't like, internally we say no. And no actually means resistance, non-acceptance. And so this is a form of suppression eventually. And if you keep saying no to it, it tends to make it stronger in time. So instead of that, let's practice saying yes to it and just see what happens. So let's begin easy and just closing down the eyes or eyes open, just take a moment to get yourself settled. Just find your breath through the nose. And let's go down to your left leg. So become aware of your left leg, your left knee, your left foot. And can you say yes to your left foot? And can you say yes again? So no matter what you find in your left foot, is it possible just to say yes to it? And say yes again. And again. And again. Good. And now noticing your left foot compared to your right foot. Noticing if it feels a little different, a bit more spacious. And move up to your left leg, to your left knee. And just see if you can notice your left knee, the front of it, the back of it. And can you say yes to your left knee? And can you say yes again? And can you say yes again to the left knee? And again. And again. And one more time. Now let's move to the right leg. See if we can do the whole right leg. So become aware of your right foot, the right knee, the thigh, and as you notice your right leg, can you just say yes to your right leg? And can you say yes again? And again, and again, and again, good, and Move up into your belly, the lower belly area. And just noticing what's going on in the lower belly. Any tension, discomfort. And 
just uh, whatever you find, can you say yes to it? And can you say yes some more? And can you say yes some more? And can you say yes some more? And one more time. Good. And move up to the solar plexus, the upper belly, the solar plexus. And whatever you find, can you say yes to it? And can you say yes again? And can you say yes again? Now you can say yes out loud, and generally it's recommended to say it out loud because it does sort of reaffirm the intent. So if you want a stronger sort of response, then I'd recommend actually saying yes or no out loud. So can you say yes to the solar plexus? And can you say yes again? And can you say yes again? And yes again. And yes again. And moving up to the chest, center of the chest, and inside the chest, the heart, the back of the chest, becoming aware of the whole chest cavity. And whatever you find in the chest cavity, can you say yes to it? And can you say yes again? And yes again? And yes again? Can you say yes again? And yes again. Becoming aware of the heart itself, the organ, as best as you can. And can you say yes to the heart? Can you say yes again? Can you say yes again? And can you say yes again? Can you say yes again? And 
can you say yes again? Good, and become aware of the face now, moving up, the forehead, the eyes, the nose, cheeks, the lips, the chin. And can you say yes to the face, the way it feels, as it is? And can you say yes again? And can you say yes again? 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 Become aware of the back of the head, the back of the neck, and down the spine. Back of the head, back of the neck, and down the spine. Whatever you find, can you say yes to the back of the head? Can you say yes to the back of the neck? And can you say yes to down the spine? Again, can you say yes to the back of the head? The back of the neck? And down the spine? Can you say yes to the whole body? The whole body is one big organism. Can you say yes to the whole body? And can you say yes again? And can you say yes again? And can you say yes again? Can you say yes again? And can you say yes again? Can you say yes again? Good. I'm just noticing the body, feeling a bit lighter, a bit more open and free as the energy moves freely through without any resistance, without any judgment. And now let's take it a bit further. So I want you to bring up something like a memory, something that happened to you recently or a long time ago. That kind of causes stress cause a little bit of anxiety when you think about it. Just bring up the first thing that comes to mind, just anything. Bring it up. And can you say yes to this memory, to this image in mind? 
as an experiment, can you say yes to this image again? And can you say yes to it again? And can you say yes again? And can you say yes again? And can you say yes again? Now, think of another memory or another event, something recent or a long time ago, just anything that comes to mind. And then when you've got it, bring it up. And just, can you say yes to this image, to this memory? And can you say yes again? And can you say yes again? And can you say yes again? Can you say yes again? And can you say yes again? Can you say yes again? Good. And now bring up something that's kind of troubling you at the moment, something on your mind. It can be anything. And when you're ready, bring it up. Bring it up. Bring it to the mind. And can you say yes to it? Can you say yes to this image, this worry? And can you say yes again? And can you say yes again? And can you say yes to it again? And can you say yes to it again? And can you say yes to it again? Good, and yes to it again. And you can keep going and bring out something else that worries you and just practice saying yes to it. As a way to release any resistance or stress. And just keep going as long as you feel. I recommend, again, starting small like we did in this practice, starting with the left leg and moving up through the body and then expanding into different spaces. And you can even practice this before bed or while you're lying in bed, just saying yes to the body as it rests, yes to the mind as it flickers. So keep going, have a beautiful day, and I'll speak to you soon.